What's good? What's poppin'? It's your boy Tommy B, Bar CEO, back at it again, doing another podcast. And this is a prediction podcast for the Carve 'em Up to event, which goes down this Saturday, hosted by our man Ruthless. This is gonna be a sick fucking card. I mean, every card this year has been fucking top notch. I'm excited to see what happens. On this card, there's a lot of names on this card that everybody knows. And there's a couple names that not too many people know. Uh, Me, personally, I haven't heard some of them. And I'm about to listen to them for the first time on this podcast. So uh, you'll be hearing them with me so you can help me. Well, it can't really help me because I'll make my mind up right when I hear the MCs that I haven't heard. So um, let's start off with, uh, with one of the battles that's on the bottom. I don't know why it's on the bottom. This one should be closer to like co-main event. In my opinion, but um, you know, I didn't make I didn't make the flyer, so I didn't put the card together. But ruthless, I feel, I feel we got Gandhi Bones versus Killa Kella. Killa Kella has been killing it this year. I believe he's like five and one or four and one in the singles division, and he's won the twenty four seven division championship three times this year. That's got to be a record. I gotta check. In the twenty four seven division uh, history, see who has you know won the title the most, but that's got to be a record. Um, a lot of people you know th- know that Gandhi Bones has been around for a while and he's a vet, but in my opinion, I feel that Gandhi Bones really needs to step it up in this battle. I feel that Killa Kella is hungry. He this is his rookie year. He he wants to show the Bars fam what he's made of. He has been absolutely tearing it up lately. So I feel that Gandhi Bones has to come correct here. You know, he's you know, the the he is the the joke he has the jokes, he's a he's a he's a comedian, and you know, I don't think that that's gonna be enough if he brings that shit. I feel that he has to bring some bars to this battle. He is a funny guy, I fuck with his comedy. I, I love what he brings to the table because I, I I'm a king of the dot guy, man. I, I love I love comedy. I love fucking funny shit, man. So, you know, when that gets incorporated into a battle, you know, and a lot of people would be like, yo, I bet you Tommy B would take Gandhi Bones in this because he's a vet and he that's kind of his style. But no, man, I feel that Killa Kella is going to take this um, again. Gandhi Bones, if you want to win this battle, I feel that you have to come correct with the bars. You have to try to outbar Killa Kella. Killa Kella can spit, man. And uh, he's the type of guy that if you're not paying attention to him, he's going to kill you silently. You know what I mean? Like he he has some shit. So I got Killa Kella on that one. I am va- absolutely surprised that that's like kind of the opener battle. But it, it just maybe it's just the way the the flyer was made. But I would definitely put that, you know, main co-main event. You know, that's possible. That, that's possible main event right there for the carve them up. Um, you know, again, like we can't really... We can't really go off what we've seen from Gandhi Bones as of late. Like, I feel like we haven't really got the true Gandhi Bones. Like, I feel like we haven't seen the best of him yet. And I think that he has to really come with it to beat uh, Killa Kella. Just because of the role that Killa Kella's been on, man. I feel like he's he's been, you know, he's by far in my... I wouldn't say by far because Flip is starting to make some ground. But I feel like he took this battle just to show, like, yo, he deserves this Rookie of the Year award. Um, so we'll, we'll find out what happens. In my opinion, I, I still think that Killa Kella is gonna make gonna get that win. Um, but you never know. It's bars. I mean, you know, at the end of the day, I mean, we might see something spectacular from uh, Gandhi Bones that could just you know take over the battle. Um, let's get into the Grand Prix battles. We have Saucy Sanchos versus Roach.com. Now, this one's going to come down to preference. I think this is going to go either way. I fuck with both rappers heavy. I think Roach has to come more correct with the bars. I feel like he has to scheme more. I think he has to punch a little bit heavier. If he does that, he could have an edge on Saucy. I think Saucy is the more uh, lyrically inclined rapper. He punches harder. He does scheme better. But Roach.com has that, he has that performance, he has that theatrical um, flow to him, man. He he really has, he's an entertainer. Saucy, on the other hand, can rap. Saucy has the punches, Saucy has the wordplay. I think Saucy's going to take this. And I think he's going to, he's probably going to be favorite to win the tournament if he does win this battle. Um, now... 
Roach can definitely beat Saucy. Saucy can definitely beat Roach. This is not one of those battles where like this is clear cut. This is gonna come down to preference. Again, I'm gonna I'm gonna empath- emphasize on Roach coming correct with the bars. I feel like he has to outperform Saucy, but be on the same level bar wise as Saucy because Saucy I feel is more lyrically inclined. So I'm gonna go with Saucy, but you never know, man. That can go either way. Um, we have. Uh, JB Styles versus Sniper, a rematch. Last time they battled, they went into overtime, and that was a close battle, neck and neck. And I have a feeling that you know this battle ain't going to be any different because Sniper just got a win over Cleon Williams, um, and Sniper has bounced back very well from his loss to JB Styles. This one is going to be neck and neck. I'm really excited to see who comes up on top of this battle because the winner of this battle will face. Either Saucy or Roach.com. And I feel that both of these MCs have a good shot at beating uh, the other side. So it's going to be interesting. I don't know who's going to win the tournament. All four MCs are very evenly matched. But if I had to pick between Sniper and JB Styles, I'm going to have to go with JB Styles again. Just because I feel like he's got that that uh, veteran presence. I, think, I feel like he knows what to do to win this battle. Um, but I may be wrong. I mean, this is uh, my predictions don't really mean that I'm right. Um, but yeah, salute to everyone on the card. This is going to be a crazy card. We have a spoken word concept battle. We have the Madman Johnny versus Johnny Eight. Now I don't know if this battle is being judged, but Johnny Eight's on a fucking like Johnny Eight is fucking one of the best on beat right now in my opinion. Um, I th- I feel like he has. The cadence and the flow and any beat that he's on, it just he matches up with it perfectly. I don't know if this is on wax. It doesn't say on the flyer that it's on wax, but uh, um, it's a spoken word concept. So I don't even know it's being judged, but I would go with Johnny 8. Madman's definitely uh, making a name for himself. He gets better and better every time I see him battle. I, I feel like if this is like a on wax thing, it's going to be closer because Madman can rap on a beat. Um, but I don't even know it's being judged. So, But if I had to pick, I'd probably go with Johnny 8. Um, we have Lil Ma versus Jazz Gat. Now, I haven't seen much of Jazz Gat. I'm going to search her Facebook right now and see what we can find. But all I know is that Lil Ma, she picked up that win over Flip. If she can beat Flip, you know, she she has a good shot at beating uh, Jazz Gat. But let me go see what Jazz Gat has to, uh, has to offer on her, um, uh, on her Facebook page. Let me see if she's got any, uh, got any battles there. I am friends with her. So I want to see what she has because if I if I can hear some shit that she spit, so I'm scrolling, I'm scrolling, I don't see nothing. I see some memes. I know she battled over in Slaughterhouse. Maybe I should check Slaughterhouse see what she's got there. But you know, what I mean, just by going off of what I see on her Facebook, she doesn't seem like she puts up a lot of music or a lot of a lot of her battles. Uh, so let's go on to YouTube and let's check out Slaughterhouse to see her last battle. Now, if I can't find it quickly, I'm just gonna be like, ah, nah, no worry about, no, don't worry about it. But um, again, I mean, Lil Ma, like she's, I mean, she's all over the place and, and she gets views. She ha- definitely has a really good uh, following. I feel like you know she's the type of she. She reminds me a lot of Nina Faye, which those two will be battling soon, which is going to be crazy for the FMC Division Championship. That's going to be crazy. I ain't going to tell you when, but that's going to happen. Um, but uh, I feel that I feel that you know Lil Mon's going to be hard to beat. Now I can't find her battle on Slaughterhouse. I'm street. Uh, I'm searching right now. So Jazz Gat. You know, try to put a little bit more material out there. I love to see you more in the FMC division. I want to see what you could do. I ain't gonna take Lil Ma in it right now because I mean that's just you know what if what if Jazz Gat is like you know the next official. You know what I mean? I can't really see her work. So what we will do here is we'll move on to the next battle. Since I can't find the footy, but uh, yeah, man. This is gonna be a good bat. This is gonna be a card. This card's gonna be pretty good. And again, salute the ruthless for putting this together. So I got the flyer back up. Um, we got Rude versus Doc Roney. Now, Doc Roney, I haven't seen much of him. So let's go check. Let's go. Let, let's go check his Facebook. Let's see what he's got. See what battles he's got. 
Let's see who's got any battles on him. I know what Rude could do. Rude's definitely fire. I mean, he made it all the way and uh, won the tournament that we had, the Hot 16 tournament. He won that. So you know the man can battle. I, I mean, he's rude with it. He is what he says he is. You know what I mean? The guy, the guy's definitely talented. Um, but Doc Roney, I have heard that he's pretty good. So uh, let me just uh, – he is taking battles. He's, he has battles – on other leagues, this is his bar's debut, so I haven't. Yeah, I, I'm still scrolling his Facebook, haven't really seen any of his uh his battles. Yo, guys, if you battle, put up your fucking battles, bro. Like, I don't uh, you know, it's hard to to search these guys and find these guys and take the predictions if all they got is memes on their wall and shit. But uh, might have to go on YouTube and check that out too. Uh, but I heard he's a serious, serious. Uh, MC and he can he can definitely uh, be fire. Um, I know he's not no pushover because he is getting booked. I ha I have seen you know a bunch of flyers that he's posting right now that he is he is getting booked, so he could be fire. Um, but yeah, but battling a guy like Rude in his home league, it's gonna be tough to get the win. And Rude's right up there with rookie rookie of the year. You know, talks because he's right behind. I think he's right behind Killer Kella and he's right behind Flip. He could be over Flip right now, in my opinion. So I'm gonna have to go with Rude just because I know what he could do. And I mean, Roni, like Doc Roni, I hope I, I know that he's gonna be one of those guys that's gonna be a dark horse. So I may be kicking myself in this prediction later, but uh, I got Rude just based on I I don't see anything on Roni. I mean, I can't really take a winner on that. Um, I mean, I got to go with what I know, which kind of fucks my podcast up. But, you know, I, I I thought, you know, I could just jump on their Facebook and see if they got any battles that they post. But I haven't seen shit just on the first uh, couple scrolls. We'll move to Mayhem and Godson Koppel, both MCs I know very well. I battled Godson. Godson has some shit. Godson, again, he's done a lot for bars. Mayhem has done a lot for bars, too. Mayhem helped with the banger division. Mayhem, I, in my opinion, still hasn't got over that hump of figuring out what battle rap is. You know what I mean? He's still spitting mixtape uh, rhymes. He's still doing that horrorcore stuff. I don't think he's going to have what it takes to beat Godson Capo. Godson Capo's been living and breathing battle rap for a long time. He's more of a veteran, in my opinion. Um, but again, Mayhem can rap. So if Mayhem actually, you know, picks up on a few things, he could give Godson Capo a hard time. And this is the co-main event. Um, I'm not sure if there's any backlash between the two. I'm not sure if they went back and forth at all. But, you know, um, Mayhem definitely can get into it once in a while. Um, Godson Capo, though, man, again, thank you. Thank you for what you did with the twerk battle and the prep battle. He got these two big names to fuck with bars for a night. Um you know, nothing but love and respect for him. He makes all of our uh, promo videos. He does a lot of work for bars behind the scenes. So, again, salute to him. And salute to Mayhem. Uh, Mayhem's doing his own thing. Uh, he was part of the Banger Division. We may bring him back because the Banger Division is not popping right now. What's going on, Ruthless? I'm talking to you, bro. Let's get that shit back up and running. Um, Moving on to the main event, Right Reasons versus King Stiz. I don't know Right Reasons, but but I know that he's got some shit on his Facebook page that I went and checked out today, and the man is fire. Now, this is giving me a flashback back to when King Stiz battled uh, Inferno Dash. We didn't know who Inferno Dash was. The man came out with flames and he beat King Stiz and not many people can beat King Stiz. And that was debatable. I feel that King Stiz is probably in my top five in bars MCs of all time. Yes, I said it. Um, you know, this is going to be a hard one for me to pick because right reasons is fire. I'm going to play some of his shit. I don't understand for the life of me why this is happening to me today. I'm just getting off work, right? I mean, right before, right, right, but I see sirens flashing, and I pull over right away. Whether or not I even had the right away. Just being honest, my mind drifting all the way from me creating verses. Every cop in my city ain't here to give me some good old American community service. You clown, walking a tight rope. My intent is to address the elephant in the room like what a lovely circus. Excuse me, officer. 
would it suit you for me to pull over so you can bash my brains? Or am I just an easy target with no life insurance? Fish fries will bring my family dollars, but right now I'm praying to God that somebody would come to right aid. Mm. I'm not scared of the police. I'm more afraid of him fearing right. I'm not feeling right, feeling like he could reach a boiling point and shoot for my top if we not fair in height. You want to shoot the fair one? But take that badge off and on my mama and them, I'm going to act a fool. I'm really rude, not stupid. I got life insurance policy. Put a custom tag on my head like a name you on price tool. Should I keep writing this or no? Yo, that was fire. And I... Yo, when I heard that, I was like, man, King Stiz has some work. King Stiz has got, knows what he's doing, though. He's a fucking professional. I've, Man, the shit he did against Prep, I think he beat Prep. And Prep, Prep is Prep, man. You know what I mean? So this is really the hardest one, in my opinion, for me to pick in my predictions. I'm going to go and put another uh, video that Right Reasons did. We all know what King Stiz could do, but I don't know too much about Right Reasons. I have heard some of his Facebook shit. This is, I like this one a little bit better. Well, why? Well, that depends on who you ask. Oh, my, oh, my. Y'all screaming, that's that reasons, guy. You love seeing me on social media. I really connect with you through the wire. I'm the cable guy. Mm, okay. Who am I? Well, that depends on whom you ask. All my fans think I'm God's pen. A young black man with an old soul cooking. I might be Uncle Ben. I am the magnificent nobody. Who right reasons why we should do better than we've been doing Encourage you to share this information with somebody I tear the club up and cause havoc in the universe But I'm not doing whatever for a penny like Mr. Peabody What? I said I am a beast, boy, the team titan They follow my word, play with the bouncing ball and the screen brighten I am the artist that have you lost in a mage at the stage As you stand and rave, I leave eyes widen I am the poet that demands your attention when the king talking the dirty south. I leave the other king silent and the lion dare not open his mouth. Look at my logo. Not the man can spit. I fuck with, and you can tell he's a battle rapper just by the way he spits at his cadence. So I haven't seen a battle that he's done, but just by going off his Facebook videos, this is gonna be a good battle, people. I feel I have a feeling this is gonna be like the the fucking Inferno Dash battle where like you know yo King Stiz is gonna smoke this guy and then you know King Stiz ended up losing, but I'm gonna stick with my boy King Stiz. But right reasons is a fucking problem. Um, this is this this is a main event for a reason, people. I feel like this is gonna be battle of the night. Uh, this is gonna be one of the ones. It's gonna be a classic. It could be going for battle of the year. And that's a big thing because there's a lot of good battles that happen this year. But uh, yeah, that's that's all the battles I got on the, the unless I'm missing one or two. Oh yeah, there was one that was added, and I haven't really uh, I haven't really checked both MCs. I I know that one of them is King Stiz's boy. I just released the uh, the flyer today. We have uh, Rolo. Hold up. One second. Rolo versus classics. So uh, you know, I can't I can't I mean I got I'm gonna check let's 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 check their shit. Let's see what they're doing on their Facebook. Let's see. Let's see. Let's take a look to see what they're doing on their Facebooks. Let me find out their Facebook names. One second, one second, one second. But this battle was uh not added to the card when the card was being made, but it, it was a late entry. So I don't know how long a preparation they had, but this is uh, this is definitely um, you know a pop up battle, so to speak. It's catching everyone by surprise. It's a debut versus a debut, which is always awesome to see. I love seeing debut battles because you get to see you know where they're at, and then you kind of you know see who they should face next. You know, kind of figure out what their skill level is. Um, so now I got their names. Just gonna search them up. See what they got on their Facebook. See if they have anything, and then I'll make my prediction off that. So I'm looking at uh, I'm looking at uh, Rolo. He's got a, his Facebook name is Curiel King, and uh, he's got a, a picture of being on a live stage. So that's a good sign right there. So I'm coming. You know what I'm um, saying? Let me just uh, take a look. 
So we ha he has a battle. He has a battle, and I believe it's on Dead to Rights 3. I'm not sure if that's the league. No, Elite Battle League. That's what that's what it is. Elite Battle League. Let me uh click on that uh click on that link and see what see what he's got. Here we go. This is Rolo. Okay. All right. The man can rap. The man can battle rap. He he does this on live stage, so that's a good sign right there. Okay. He's smart. He's smart. He's scheming right now. Scheme, the man can punch. And the guy's got wordplay, so. Rolo can rap, Rolo can punch, Rolo can uh, scheme, he can use wordplay. I don't know, man. That's fucking pretty solid. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see what uh what classics could do now. I don't know if he has any footy. Let's go find out. So he he's been pushing our uh, flyer hard. So he's fucking. You know he's gonna show up. You know he's right into what we're doing. So I'm looking. I'm looking. I'm looking on his Facebook page. 
see some music. That's not him. Here we go. I don't know if that's him. That might be one of his homies. Because he is a part of BME with, with Hit Riot Out and King Stiz. So that's why this is going to be good. Because you know, you know King Stiz wouldn't co-sign. You know, if this guy was whack. So. so I'm not seeing anything that's him. And I don't know if that was him or not. I don't think that was him. But what I don't see anything on his Facebook, so I'm like, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna make a prediction just because whatever King Stiz, if he co-signs this man, you know he's gonna be fire. And I listen to Rolo, and Rolo's decent, so it's hard to make a prediction. But uh, at least I got to play a little bit of Rolo stuff and get to know him a little bit. He, the, the guy definitely can punch. The guy definitely can scheme. The guy definitely um, has got some wordplay. So salute to him. Salute to all the new rappers. Again, my apologies for not doing a little bit more homework on, on on some of these guys, but it is it's hard when there's so many people coming in and out of bars, and if they're not sharing their stuff, I can't really f find out you know how good they are. But uh, the the rappers that I do know and the battles that I did predict, you know, it doesn't matter whether I predict them or not. It doesn't matter if they're gonna. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't mean they're gonna win or lose. You know what I mean? So that's just that's just my predictions. Um, yo, uh, Saucy Sancho interview just dropped. Uh, go check that out. Um, this is gonna drop soon too. Um, also, you know, this weekend, carve them up too. Ruthless, all those battles we just talked about, I just talked about in this podcast, they're gonna be on bars. They're gonna be dropping all day on Saturday. So make sure y'all tune in. Get yourself a bars t shirt or a mask or a hat. We 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 selling a shitload of merch. Make sure you guys check our check yourself out. Come over and see me. Uh, send me a message. I'll let you know what the prices are. We can definitely get it shipped to you within two weeks. Um, and that's with the COVID bullshit. Uh, but yeah, man, it's bars battle rap league all fucking day. It's your CEO signing out once again. Thank you again. Make sure you check out carve them up to this Saturday beef night. Volume 29, got like 14 battles on that card. That's going down, not this weekend, but next weekend on the 28th. Then we got Ladies Night 2 in December. We got the Bar's Birthday Bash in December. We got Dismembering December in December. Like that, yo, we, we, we closing out 2020 perfectly. This is how it's supposed to be done. So, yo, salute to the Bar's fam. I'm out once again. Peace.